Now, folks, uh, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday, we are joined by Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. That is Ord-Oracle.com. Uh, if you're not familiar with him, I suggest that you get familiar with him. If he's a phenomenal technician, we have him on every Tuesday and Thursday. You can check out some of our past interviews together along with Tom O'Brien. Uh, that is on our YouTube channel again. Tim, how are you doing? Good, good. Uh, good to be on again. So, uh, uh, should we start right in? Yeah, well, you know, I'm just so curious of what your outlook is right now. You know, we've been having, you know, there's kind of some sideways movement in the markets on some declining volume, and I'm just interested to uh, hear what you have to say on that, especially on gold as well, if we get to that. Okay, uh, let's look at uh, chart one. Yep. What you're seeing or what you're hearing, uh, funny how this is, uh, the top window is the, uh, uh, the National Association of Active Investors Managers Weekly Exposure Index. That's a mouthful. But this uh, it's a chart of what the National Association of Active Investment Managers are doing in the market. And right now, the uh, National Association of Active Investors Managers are uh, 103.66% long. In other words, they're basically 3.6% on margin. So they're all in plus another 3.66%. And this chart goes back several years, and I highlighted those times when their exposure is up 100%. And it came back, you know, if you look to the left of the chart, it came close to near the highs of 2021. Uh, I picked out close to the high of, of 2023 to, to be the July high, or close to it. And it came again in, looks like about De uh, December of 2000. 23 just had a blurb down. This is a weekly chart. And again, it picked out the top in, um, looks like March, April, April of uh, 2024. We had that decline. And right now we're back up uh, above that 100% exposure. So usually the upside is pretty limited. It can go up for another week or so, but probably not much more than that. Uh, so we're in kind of a, uh, you know, tedious area here. Right. So let's flip to another chart, kind of see what's going on. Let's flip to chart two. Got it up. And, uh, okay, this is the weekly QQQ. Oh. And it, actually, anything that goes up too fast or down too fast is usually a reversal in the market. And so I use the different indicators to uh, define, you know, if it gets out of the uptrend too fast, in other words, goes past the normal uptrend effects. So anyhow, in a nutshell, I put the Bollinger Bands on the weekly uh, QQQ, and every time it got above 50% 50, 50 of the trading range for that week above the upper Bollinger Band, which I circled on the chart, usually the next week uh, is usually a down week, and sometimes it can have a multi-week down. And a couple of weeks, or about a month ago, or it looks like about, or not a month ago, but a couple of weeks ago, we got 50% above the upper Bollinger Band. The market went sideways for the next two weeks after. Uh, we didn't quite make it 50% above the Bollinger Band last week. But this week, I still think we're going to rally before the week is out. So I'm thinking we're going to close above at least 50% of the trading range of this week. It's going to close above uh, the upper Bollinger Band. And so today's Tuesday, a lot can happen before the week is out. Right. But uh, seasonality is actually really bullish this week. So I don't think we're going to see a top of any consequence this week. But uh, if we do rally and hold above the upper Bollinger Band and close above it uh, this week, then probably next week could be a down week. I think that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, so we're, we're entering into... Uh, this is a seasonal period right now, uh, still bullish all the way until mid uh, mid July and possibly sometimes late July. But this is a time to be kind of a lot of times you get chopped in the market. Uh, so I hear the music. That's right, so Tim. We're going to go to commercial break, folks. Stay right there. We'll be right back with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Welcome back, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. We are joined by Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Tim, we were on chart two looking at the cues before we went to break. Yeah, I think that, uh, anyhow, I think this week's probably going to rally more than what it has so far. And I think uh, 
is going to be above the weekly Bollinger Band. If it is, that's easy a danger sign for next week. So let's go to chart three. Absolutely. So, um, so you got quite a few things kind of showing up here. But the chart three, the bottom one is a VIX. If you notice over the last, uh, actually, uh, if today is up again, we'll be up seven days in a row. Seven days in a row, predict the market will be higher 93% of the time within five days. So you don't really want to bet against the market, at least not right now, because uh, you got some percentages that are pretty high that this market's going to end higher. But what's going on right now, uh, the S&Ps are rallying to new all-time highs. And the VIX, the bottom window, has been actually been going up in general for the last four days. So that's also kind of a warning sign. So I, I think we may kind of have a, a surge uh, towards the week, you know, towards Friday, I think. It could start off tomorrow, uh, putting some power to the upside. But I wouldn't chase this rally. I think uh, it's, it's kind of a... It's going to go into, I think, a trading range that could last probably into September. Uh, I think it'll go up, come back down, go back up, come back down, and build probably some sort of a base. So, um, so it's just kind of an end of a rally, you know. And I don't think it's going to end not before Friday. I'll put it that way. And maybe it could run into next week, but that's probably about it. And then from there, we're going to have probably a chop for the next couple three months. So that's my view for the market. But still, higher highs before the year's out. Right. Going through after this job, so this is not a top of any consequence. I'll put it that way. Yeah, so. and uh, for all those listening out there, Tim also has a uh, webinar which I really recommend: the Secret Science of Market Tops. You know, if you ever want to get an insight into how Tim looks at this kind of stuff, uh, strongly recommend checking that out as well. Uh, do you want to move to chart four, Tim? Yeah, it's chart four. We'll kind of start off the big view. This is. You know, this this one gave a uh, a signal back in uh, I forgot what was uh, I think it was May whatever. So it, it does it's not designed to catch the bottom, but it is these two indicators are designed to catch the trend. <laughs> and the trend is it measures the uh, cumulative up down volume for GDX, and uh, the uh, bottom window is a cumulative up. Yeah, it's up down volume for GDX and the next window higher is a cumulative advanced decline for GDX and I put a Bollinger band on it. And it trends pretty well. You know, once it gets above the mid Bollinger band, it doesn't usually whip back and forth. It can, but in most cases, once it gets above the mid Bollinger band, it stays there and stays there for months because this is a monthly chart. So the trend right now on the bigger time frames is up. And it's, it's not like up for the next couple of weeks. It's up at least multi month, and it can be multi year. So this this is going to at least rally into uh, to next year, possibly the next two three years. Don't know, but the trend is up in a, in a big way because once these indicators give a buy signal, uh, they're persistent. Uh, so anyhow, the the blue areas are times when this. Uh, both indicators are above the mid Bollinger band. The pink or the pink areas are uh, when they're below the mid Bollinger bands. And right now we're in the blue area, so we're in a multi-month uh, rally. Uh, so you know that's the bigger trend. So let's flip down to uh, actually let's, let's go to the next chart, chart yeah. five. This is a big, big trend. Big time. So something I think something is really big starting to happen on in the really big time frames. Only reason why I say that, the middle chart is the monthly XAU uh, gold ratio. And a lot of times it goes through a chopping period, and I marked those chopping periods. This chart goes back to 1984. And I marked the chopping periods where it goes into a trading range, finally breaks out, goes into a trading range, finally breaks out. And most of the trading ranges in the past last thing were from two to six years. You know, two couple of two year periods, a couple or four year period, six year period. We've been in a narrow range since 2014. We've been in a narrow range since ten for ten years. And if you look at the bottom window, we broke out. And I think this narrow trading range, pretty much going sideways since 2014, is going to do something other than go sideways. Either going to go down or up. And there's a lot of evidence suggests it will be up. And how long up, don't know, but long, longer the base, usually the longer the rally. Uh, so something I think big is going up. And also I have a trend line drawn uh, connecting the highs 
on the XAU gold ratio going back to, 2000, to uh, 1996. And we've been hovering against that trend line uh, since the late, looks like about 2021. We've just been trending down right on it. And finally, we're breaking out above that trend line. Uh, so, um, and, and there's, you know, we're, you know, we're trilling dollars in debt in the United States here. So I'm thinking uh, the market's picking up on this. And these gold stocks, which is kind of an inflation head, I guess you might say, or gold and gold silver. So I'm thinking it's, it's going to be probably like it was back in the 1980s. Because, you know, we're going to have hyperinflation, and and these gold miners are probably the place to be going forward. So we'll have to wait and see how that works out. But it's something I think is big because we've gone sideways for so long that we're due for an impulse wave sure. on the XEU gold ratio. And I think that ratio is going to be up. And do you have um, any preference on gold to silver or just looking at gold on the macro scale? Say, say uh, do you have any preference to gold uh, over silver or is, is gold just kind of easier to see, you know, the, the larger trends? Uh, I do a lot of stuff with the gold just because silver is kind of a secondary market. But right. in bull market, silver outperforms gold. And the gold's kind of the standard worldwide thing. So they have more information, at least the information I got. I have a lot more information on gold rather than silver. But silver going forward should outperform gold. Also go up. Silver will go up more than gold. So I guess if you're going to do mining stocks, I guess silver mining would be the better uh, solution. But pretty much everything's going to go up. It's going to be one of those things that, you know, you can put a bunch of gold miners on, on a wall and throw a dart and you're going to be a <laughs> right. winner. So it's kind of like you're going to be a genius, you know, because bull markets, it's pretty easy to make money. Bear markets is it's yeah. tough. So, and we've been in a bear market for a long, long time, especially with the miners. Definitely. They've been really beaten down. And this ratio, if you can see how low this ratio is going back to 1982, I mean, we've been down extremely low since 2014. So, <laughs> Uh, we're, we're due for something. We're due for something here, especially gold. You know, goes back thousands of years. It's not like the currency is going to go out of style here. Right. So it's it's, it's an old market. It's not it's not going to go to zero. So how high is high is one thing we don't know. Um, we don't have a lot of time here. I see. Yeah. If you um, want to stay, we have a short break up next, but we have two more charts. If you think you could get through them in that time, uh, we'd love to have you stay. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll try. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, folks, we're about to go to break right now. Again, check out ord-oracle.com. Uh, we're about to be uh, right back with Tim Ord. Stay right there. Welcome back, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. We are joined uh, by Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Tim, we have a short segment here. We can go to chart six if you are ready to. Right, chart six. This is actually a momentum indicator uh, for uh, the... Uh, yeah, it's a it's a slow stochastics for the XAU gold ratio monthly, and it, it works really well. Basically, this ratio trends, and so when it really gets beat up and it gets below you know, twenty on the uh, slow stochastics, that's that XAU gold monthly ratio. It's usually at the bottom, and all those blue lines across the chart are when that happened. And user at major lows. And this came in August 2022. It gave a buy signal. And, and when it gets above, usually about around plus 90, it's usually a, a top of, of significance. And that's the red lines across. And we're about halfway up, so we got ways to go. And it could take another year, maybe two years, to get to plus 90 if the market keeps going up. But this uh, signaled back in August 2022 a major buy signal, and that was the head of a head and shoulders bottom. That's the reason why I thought that was important low. So let's flip to chart seven real quick. Absolutely. This is just a short-term view. It shows you exactly where the XEU uh, is doing right now. Or not the XEU, but uh, GDX. And it's on a buy signal. And basically the 18-day average of up-down volume uh, as the bottom window, the next window up is 18 day average advanced decline. As long as those two indicators stay above minus 10, which they are, they've been above minus 10 basically from March 1st, the uptrend's intact. Uh, so whatever's going on right now, 
Uh, it's pretty safe. Both indicators are plus uh, 15 range, give or take. And that's as long as above minus 10, this rally should continue. So it doesn't really pick out the minor consolidations. It catches the major trend or a significant trend, I'll put it that way. And the trend's up. So Fantastic. Tim, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to see you Thursday. All right. Talk to you then. Thanks see you then, Tim. Folks, that was Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. You've got to go check him out on his website, and you can check out his awesome webinars on TFNN.com under the Services tab. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.